Twinkle is full of so many amazing resources. It's hard to know what to pick sometimes. So I have spent hours looking through the Twinkle website, searching for coding and algorithms, printing out a few of the resources and trying them out to find my top five coding resources. In at number five is the Computer Coding Resource Pack. Now this is really lovely because most of it you don't need a computer and it's got a PowerPoint to talk you through some of the definitions of computing, coding and algorithms, as well as having some keywords with the definitions. And then it's got these really nice resources that you can go through with your children. They really like doing the binary of their own name, as well as doing some algorithms where you can code where to go. So it's a really lovely pack to start you off on a coding journey. In at number four is treasure map coding. Now my children absolutely love this because they love pirates and treasure and finding treasure. And it's really fun because they're actually following the instructions rather than trying to write them themselves to see what treasure they can find. So they really enjoyed doing this. This really helped them as well with their rotating which way right and left to get to the right bit of treasure. There are loads of other algorithm resources too on the Twinkle website, including ones on bugs and robots. But Pirates was definitely our favourite. In at number three is Programming with Scratch. This is another great pack of resources for children to work through. My children really like using Scratch, however, often they get a bit stuck with what to do next and learning more about how to use the programme. So I'm really excited with this because they actually sit and go through each of the lessons so they're building their knowledge and then can apply that when they're trying to do all their game design. So programming with Scratch is number three. In at number two is binary jewellery. This is really fun because it's so tactile and you can just use different coloured beads or maybe even Play-Doh or something else if you don't have different coloured beads. My children really enjoyed coding different letters using this and it got them a good understanding of how much data is in a code if you think about one byte is one letter and that's eight beads. But this video has got over 100 megabytes of data. That would be a lot of beads. And in at number one, have you guessed it? It is the Red Riding Coding Club app. It is available on Android and Apple's devices, and you can just download it and then the children can use it. So it's really good because you actually get to code Little Red Riding Hood and the woodcutter, so you're following a story they are familiar with. And it's really simple and easy to use, putting in the different codes to direct Little Red Riding Hood and the woodcutter around the story and the book. So this is definitely our top number one resource for coding. And we just really enjoy playing with this. It builds on everything we've learned from the previous resources as well. So it joins everything together and is a really nice way of coding. Thank you so much for joining me for our top five. What are your top five coding resources? Do let us know in the comments below. I'd love to know what they are or any other top fives you think we should be doing as well. And we look forward to seeing you again soon.